is that everything is, has to be in balance. That we go, if we're too much this way or too much that way, then we misunderstand. Uh, just to use a very, an example is very easy to understand. Let's say taking prasadam. Taking prasadam we understand to be a devotional activity. It's also a kind of worship. But if we make that our main engagement, then we're going to have problems. Right? Actually, when I was a new bhakta, that was my main engagement, was taking prasadam. Um, we had a very tight schedule and let's say, especially at, at the evening meal, we never had enough time to eat it. It was such a tight schedule, it was just unbelievable. You just, you took a quick shower. Shower meant just water, psh, that's it, that's shower. <laughs> but we didn't, our, our, uh, we didn't have, actually we didn't have an ashram. There was no brahmachari ashram. We had some kind of shacks out in the back of, on the hill behind the temple building. You know what a shack is? You don't know what a shack is? It's like a, it's like a simple building that's just, you know, usually just straw or boards or something. There's no insulation, there's no heat, there's no water, there's nothing. It's just, you know, you just put up some boards and that's it. That's a shack. Huh? Hawaii, Honolulu. <laughs> well, most of the year it was warm. But in the winter it got, it, I mean, it didn't get cold like here, obviously, but it got down to probably, I don't know, it's hard for me to think it's in uh, centigrade Celsius, but uh, probably got down to 12, maybe. <laughs> maybe 15. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> you know, if you don't have any insulation, and and, and there was a, um, a shower meant that they had run a hose. You know what hose is? They run a hose from the, from the temple building. The, the temple was on a hill, kind of. So we had these shacks up above the temple, maybe, I don't know, how far, 20 meters or something above the, above the temple on the hillside. It's a steep hillside. And, um, and then uh, somebody had run a hose from the temple building up to our little shack. We had, we had nothing. We had no belongings practically. We had, we, you know, we had nothing, almost. I mean, we just had, you know, each each of us had two dotis, no kurtas at all. Nobody had kurtas. We had t-shirts or tank tops or something. You know, no no kurtas. There was no such thing as kurtas. And we had no place to store anything anyway, so it didn't matter. Yeah, I don't remember any kind of storage facility. All I remember is that. There were these bunks, you know, like metal bunks, with and and there was a board, and then you have a sleeping bag on the board, and that was it. You know. And so the this hose comes up from the temple building, and then it was fixed to some thing, you know, outside our shack, and there's a like a clamp that keeps it closed most of the time. But then when you want to shower. You just open the clamp. So shower meant, you know, you get up in the morning, you go outside in the dark in your copans and shower. That was it. You know, water, you know, how much water do you need? How much water does it take to get your body wet? That was about it. There was no soap. Our temple president didn't believe in soap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember when I first moved into the temple that uh, so, somebody somebody gave me a list of things that were Maya. As I remember, there were four things. I don't remember what they, what they all were. But one of them was toilet tissue. Toilet tissue was definitely Maya. And another one was soap. Soap was Maya. I think a third one was television. I don't remember exactly. I just remember soap and toilet tissue. Those especially were Maya. 
Uh, so, um, yeah, it didn't take very long to have a shower. It's like, phew, that was it. You know. My my first service was, uh, where one of my first services was washing the pots, naturally. And, but, but in this particular temple, uh, not only did the temple president not believe in soap for our bodies, he also didn't believe in any kind of soap. Uh, couldn't afford it or whatever. But anyhow, there was no soap. No soap for washing pots. This is sense gratification. Um, and there was no hot water. Forget hot water. There was you know, no such thing as hot water. So, and there was a porch on the back of the, you know what porch is? Like veranda, you know, on the back of the building that had, you know, uh, like screen, like netting, supposedly to keep out the mosquitoes, but uh, the problem is that it, it was broken in every, so many places, you know. So try to imagine, you know. Plus, I don't think I had any shoes, too. We didn't have shoes. We had flip-flops. You know what flip-flops are? Yeah, we had flip-flops, that was it. And... So I'm standing there in the in this damp room, you know, really wet, it's just, you know, and then these greasy pots I had to wash with cold water and no soap while being eaten by about five million mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was a pretty difficult situation. Yeah. Did you, did you didn't use any any Sand? Yeah, the, I, I was using dirt or sand, you know, whatever I could find, <laughs> you know. No, 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 it was okay, I, it, you know. Whatever is for free is allowed. Yeah, you know, if it's, if it's available, it's, it's okay, but just not going to buy anything, that's all, you know. So anyway, so uh, we had a really tight schedule, and we had a quick shower, and then you're supposed to take prashadam. I forget what time it was, 6 or 6.30, something like that. We got prashadam. But we only had like, I don't know, very short time to take prashadam, you know. And it just wasn't enough time. Unless you just forget about chewing completely. So what, and then we hear the conch shell blow upstairs in the temple room. And, and everyone had to be in the temple room for arti, for sanjay arti, right? And there was only one place to wash your hands, so it was like complete madness. You know, in the pat in the last two minutes, everybody's just racing up the stairs and you know, running into the temple room. <laughs> one one day, I got to the door of the temple room, and there was one Brahmin standing there, and he he just glared at me. He said, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm going into the temple room." He said, "What?" but you haven't washed your feet. It says in the Nectar Devotion, you have to wash your feet before you go in the temple room. I said, but there's no place to wash our feet. <laughs> he said, don't talk back to me. I'm a Brahmin. Okay. <laughs> I said, also nobody else is washing their feet. Don't be impertinent, you know. This was the culture. <laughs> Impertinent means like. Uh, How did he know that you didn't wash your feet? I don't know because he's. Because I just ran into the temple room anyway. <laughs> so, the point I'm getting at is that, is that therefore everybody just left their prasadam on their plates in the prasadam room on the table in the prasadam room. We had this low table like you know like this, and long low table and all the brahmacharis sat along the table you know, and. And then we, everybody just left their plate because they didn't have enough time to, you know, to wash it. And we didn't even have time to finish the prasadam, and the prasadam was still on the plates. But it was like a really tight schedule, really military. So it was the only time you took prasadam? That was, no, that was in the evening. <laughs> no, we took prasadam in the morning too. <laughs> but anyway, so then we had Artik, then we had class, and then we went out on Harinam. At eight o'clock, eight from eight to ten in the evening, we went on Harinam. 